All right then, let's get this party started. Today is Wednesday, so this is now the .NET camp, which would be the, I always lose track of these things. I think it's like the fifth one that we're on now. Anyway, we went through the general one, which is the developer movement dev camp. Um, then we went through the app design camp, then we went through the game camp, the web camp, which actually makes this number five, which is awesome. So um, what we'll do today, actually before I do that, you know what? Not every one of you um, has tuned into the previous one, so I guess I'll take an opportunity to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jonathan Rosenblatt. I am your host for today, which basically means that I hang out with you all day long, um, get to answer your questions on the chat, interact with you, um, and then also we'll be back at the end of the day for a live Q&A. So make sure that you get those questions in. Now, this is part of the developer movement, so in case you don't know what the developer movement is, I'll give you a little bit of a spiel on it. Um, for those of you guys who have joined us before, again, I'm sorry, I'm gonna repeat myself just a bit uh, for those who have not been to previous camps. So basically, what the developer movement is all about is really just helping you uh, build Windows Store and or Windows Phone applications, and ideally with a Windows Azure backend. And what does that actually mean? It basically means that once you join the developer movement um, and you start building apps, then you actually submit those apps into the Windows Store and or the Windows Phone Store. Um, then you tell us that the developer movement about it and that you did that, and then you get rewards, which is actually nice and simple. Right? And the way that the rewards work is basically like this. So when you register, you get 1,000 points. I won't go through them all. You have the point structure on the screen there for you. But basically, the idea is if you look at um, publishing your Windows phone, right? that's 5,000 uh, points right there. And then if you publish a Windows 8 application, that's another 5,000 points there. And then just for fun, if you are adding in a Windows Azure backend, um, on top of all that, that's in a bonus 10,000 points. So you can actually see how these points uh, start adding up very quickly, which is um, awesome if you think about it in terms of what you can actually get, which is, of course, what we'll go through next. Look at all of these different things, and depending on the number of points that you accumulate, you actually get, um, you know, you have your choice of what you actually want to, to get. Now, if you want instant rewards, you can go for the smaller ones. If you want to hold out and keep pushing those apps in there, you know, you might want to wait till you get to 11,000 points for an Xbox 360 Connect, or better yet, 40,000 points for a home theater or a laptop, you know, camera, so on and so forth. So the beauty of it is, is that the more apps you put into the developer movement, um, the more rewards you get, or the bigger rewards that you get. It's entirely up to you. So with that, these um, series of sessions are actually meant uh, to help you along that path. So really kind of show you what you need to know in terms of Windows 8 and Windows Phone and uh, Windows Azure and how to connect all those together so that you can maximize on your points. These are virtual events, obviously, because you're all sitting at the comfort of either your office or home or wherever it is that you're watching this from. Um, but there's actually also experts that are available to help you get your applications done. And basically what they're there to do is answer your questions, give you their advice. They've all done Windows Phone um, apps before. They've done Windows 8 apps before. They've worked with Windows Azure. So they're more than qualified to give you recommendations on how to make your apps actually awesome. Um, and more importantly, you know, if you happen to run into problems here and there, you can always ask them um, or where I would best use them is to help them or to help you kind of cut through all of the different content that's available out there um, to really zero in on what you actually need to know to get this stuff out the door. Um, so the nice thing about this, they are as part of the developer movement. If you're a member of the developer movement already, these are completely uh, free for you guys. These are community people that are just volunteering their time. To get yourself a developer movement, not a problem at all, send me an email at developermovement at microsoft.com. Let me know where you are in Canada. Um, and then also let me know whether you prefer to meet in person, online, either or, you don't care. Um, and then last but not least, let me know what kind of technologies you're using so that I can make sure that I align you with the right person to help you get the job done. So on top of all of these developer mentors that are actually available for you, there's also additional camps that you can join in, right? And so you see that all of the all of the ones that we've done thus far are already available for you on demand in case you weren't able to join us. Today, obviously, is the .NET camp. 
Um, and then on March 28th, we'll do the phone camp. Um, you have the URL there at the bottom, aka.ms slash dmcamps. It's not case sensitive, so don't worry about it. Basically gives you access to all of the camps that we're running and um, when the information is available uh, for you. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm gonna give you one more, plancast.com slash developer movement. As much as there are all of these virtual events, we also have a whole slew of in-person events that are happening across the entire country. Um, basically, with the experts there, so some of the developer mentors attend those, or they're just user group meetings where there's gonna be experts that are there to help you with your apps. There's install fest and stuff like that, and there's actually something really big happening uh, with the developer movement that I don't, I might get in trouble for sharing with you right now. So I'm gonna keep that a, um, a surprise for now, but stay tuned. Uh, make sure you get those apps in there and you'll, uh, you'll kind of see where I'm going with that. Point is, plancast.com slash developer movement. If you go to that, then you can actually subscribe to get um, updates on all of the events that are booked both online and in person across the entire country. As Soon as we put them in there, you get a notification. That way you know uh, what's going on so that you don't miss any opportunity. With that, Let's get, us, uh, let's get us started. So today we're gonna to focus on the .NET developers that are out there um, as part of the crowd. Or for those of you that are more comfortable with the XAML and C Sharp versus what we did on Monday, which was the HTML5, JavaScript, WinJS uh, combination. So we're gonna go through a couple of sessions in terms of actually looking at the code perspectives first, and then we'll end off the day with um, some more of the uh, visual features and stuff like that. Kind of figuring if you're if you're a .NET developer, and certainly I myself am like this, I'm gonna probably start off with the code and then get to uh, the UI. So we've ordered uh, the sessions like that. So with that, we'll get uh, started here. We're gonna take a short break so that we can get everything settled here, get me off of the uh, camera here, and get at least started with this first session. Give us a couple minutes and we'll be right back. <laughs> 